Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's how to add a texture to a photograph. It's extremely easy. So let's get a, a file that you've got here, just an image. And this is a photograph I took with just some snow on bushes. And the idea, it's got sort of patternish and it's got light and dark in it. And that's all you need. Then I can go to here, right click on here, and then copy or control C. Go to the image here and paste into that. And it's going to be a little bit on the wrong side, so I'll zoom out a bit so I can see what that is. So I've selected that there. Now I need to sort of fit it in, so I need to rotate it. So I'll grab this and turn this, hold down the shift key and it'll go in chunks. So it goes nice and level. And then I can move it up to here and that fits perfectly. You don't need to stretch it. So control zero to get back out again. Now what do I need to do to this? It's kind of blended in there and you just need to use a blend mode, which is here. And you can actually go down here and see what happens all the way through. But very often the best one for this sort of thing is soft light. But you can see there that this is rather strong. So you just turn down the opacity until you get just a little bit there of it pushing it. But even if it's still a little bit on the lumpy side, we can just add a blur. So we go to the live filters, go up to the top to Gaussian blur and then just turn up the radius, put on, click on Preserve Alpha and just blur that until it's just kind of just like putting a kind of a mottled effect on. And then click on that top layer again there and adjust the opacity again. So you generally do want it to be hardly noticeable, it's just the texture of the picture seems to be a little bit better. If it's doing something, it's like adding something to an area you don't want, you can always put a mask on it. So suppose I don't want this list in the river here. So I just click on the mask layer there and just open this up. So I've got the mask there. I need to paint black on that. So I go to a paintbrush here and then reduce the size of that. And I can just paint black on there and it just removes that effect on the river there. But it adds texture in other areas of the picture. So you can see before and after, before and after. And that's quite easy. What you can do as well, here's another one. So I'll go to one here and this is, what, it's a good idea with this to, when you're taking photographs, if you see something, this is a bit of water running uh, in a river with nicely coloured rocks around it. Just take photographs, take photographs of walls and bits of paper and anything that's got some texture, carpet and so on. So again, just copy that, go to the original here, edit and paste that in, and then use this to this. Make sure you've got snapping on here so that it goes to the edge quite nicely. Yeah, that fits like that. You can also use the individual ones here. And the same thing again, go to the blend modes, go down to something you like. Soft light is usually a good one. And see, this one is making it look a bit more artistic. And again here, if you want to do, we could put a blur in, I could change the opacity. Often with this, if you say, just turn it up so it just looks a little bit like this, but you can add more to it, say, if you want to make it look more painterly. And it's quite interesting the way that that effect happens. Notice, by the way, this was a fairly colourful one, so it's adding colour. If you don't want colour, just go to HSL and turn the saturation down. And now you only get the texture of that. So now again, you can just play around with this and you can see the effect it's having there. So there you go. Very, very easy. How to add texture to an image. Thank you very much for watching.